I was very robotic. Okay, yeah, talk, that's what we want. Yeah, yeah, very, <laughs> yeah, hundred percent. Like again, this is this comes down to being going back to the whole discipline and being obsessed. Every single day, I've done the same thing day in day out. Okay. Like structure was on point, day right. plan was written Let's out. Do it, what is it? Literally, you're getting in the morning. I'm checking my emails, my LinkedIn messages. I'm looking at my alerts on LinkedIn. What time is this? Um, Typically. Back in the day, I got in at eight, not anymore, I'm getting at half eight. Okay. I've earned the right to get in later now. Okay, so you got in at eight, yeah, and got... what, so you're checking in your LinkedIn emails? Yeah, uh, looking at my LinkedIn alerts. So I go on my LinkedIn alerts, and that would show me anyone that has updated their LinkedIn profile, so I can find out any new projects they're working on. If someone has gone to a new company, they've changed, I thought, okay, right, he's gone to that company, that's a new project I can approach. Uh, mapping out the market in the morning, looking at posted jobs in the morning, um, seeing what companies are hiring, catching up with all my senior contractors, find out where, they, where they're going, what the plans are. And then the minute it hit half eight, I was on the phone. Down 30 minutes, just on it. Yeah, so the first half an hour in the morning, it was just like, getting my day plan sorted, get everything on check, looking at all my messages, planning. And then half eight, it was militant on the phone. What we're doing, what? BD. Just BD. I was always a BD guy. Um, so half it, eight till what, when? Yeah, so literally, so in the start of my career, it was split. I was, you know, half eight until, you know, half nine, talking to candidates. And then I was, you know, doing BD from half nine until 12 and then from 1.30 until six clients, and then after that candidates. I was structured like that, but then towards the latter end of my career, I would just BD, BD, that's what I wanted to do. Um, but I've always been very big on being on the phone. So I was always making sure I was dialing. So it's, it's so key that you're not spending all your time on emails and your LinkedIn recruiter, you need to be on the phone, 100%. So um, having that militant structure of hits half eight, you're on the phone. That, that was the key thing for me. But yeah, I think um, my, my structure was very rigid. I, I was always making sure I was hitting the targets every day, making sure that my checklist was ticked off. I wouldn't leave that day if my checklist wasn't ticked off. The Recruitment Mentors podcast is proudly sponsored by Vincherry and the award-winning Sourcebreaker.